guys what's going on my name is Louis. today is september 16 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell we have a breaking news coming out very important it says here president vlad increased the size of the bear army to 2.3 million including an additional 1.5 million military troops this is a huge breaking news please share this video we have all the information here once again vlad orders the bear army expansion by 180,000 troops vladimir has signed a decree increasing the bear military by 180,000 soldiers bringing the total active force to 1.5 million this winter all right guys before i start let's go with the verse of the day the book of genesis chapter 9 verse 16 god told noah whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds i will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between god and all living creatures of every kind on earth very powerful please share this video guys and it says here thoughts on today's verse i don't know about you but um i'm very visual so i appreciate how god made the world with all its varied colors many species and rich landscapes the world is beautiful the world is beautiful beautiful mountains in different parts of the world amazing views I mean the work of God it says here I am thankful that our father in heaven used key images in our world to remind us of his daily provision and eternal grace the beauty of a rainbow is not just in its beautiful colors or the aroma of fresh rain that often accompanies it but also in the covenant God made with us in our world after the great flood. The internal and living God chose to link himself to our destiny and to evolve himself in our world because of his love and grace. With the rainbow as his symbol, God promised not to destroy all life on our planet with a flood. Each of us is God's creation from the womb, so we are precious to him. So, we commit to living morally and responsibly to God as we seek to honor him and his covenant represented by the rainbow and refuse to dishonor this covenant with uh, wickedness. God made the rainbow as a reminder that he loves us and calls us to honor him with our character and care for his creation. Here's a prayer. Almighty God, thank you for making your great promises when we had no right to expect them, much less to demand them. Thank you for attaching those promises to things in my everyday world that remind me of your constant, constant, excuse me, and watchful care. In Jesus' name, I ask for strength and wisdom to respond to your grace and holiness and honor. Amen. All right, guys, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, we do have the PayPal link and the Patreon link in the description box. If you guys hear chickens, those are my chickens in the background. They probably laying eggs and stuff, but uh, yeah, I actually apologize about the noise. I have like... Uh, another eight more chickens so they like all over the place all right so guys i just post this video the link will be in the comments box there's another warning message that was sent in springfield ohio this time it happened in a young one facility please pray for the people out there in ohio now one thing that caught my attention her t-shirt you see that emoji face We've seen something like that last week. Donald and Harris debate. 
Now, I look for signs, all right, because there's a lot of signs out there. They put, a, a, again, they put all these signs out there, and I do look out for signs. Now, Donald is planning making his trip to Ohio. So I'm not saying, again, there's a possibility, who knows? But uh, again, we must continue to pray for Donald and pray for everyone. But uh, just looking at that emoji face with the X and with the tongue sticking out, that means gone gone now donald posted on his uh social media yesterday right after the west palm beach stuff uh he posted o and two meaning he's basically sending a message you guys tried to get me twice you missed pennsylvania west palm beach they said the third one is the bad luck so donald's planning to go to again I'm not saying something's going to, but again, it's always, always important to look out for all these signs. Now, remember, Time Magazine cover uh, a couple of days ago, they had a, a picture of Donald uh, driving a golf cart, and he's stuck in the sand, and it says, in trouble. So, uh, all these signs are out there, and even Joey Joey, is, he said it's time to put the bullseye on Donald. So again, I, you know, as a watchman, I do look out for signs and uh, all these stuff that's going on nowadays. It's very important to stay uh, fully prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally. I pray that everything, you know, again, I pray for everyone. I pray for for Donald. I pray pray for Joe. I pray that nothing happens to no one. But we are living in this times of lawlessness. It's all over the news. You see people doing certain things and trying to get the four or five. It's just really sad. This is where we are right now. So, uh, again, please continue to pray and stay safe out there and stay in the Word of God. All right, it says here, Vladimir increased the size of the bear army. All right, so big one, big one here, guys. We're going to get to all this. So, Vladimir has signed a decree increasing the bear military by 180,000 soldiers. That's, war, uh, that's WW3 number. Bringing the total active force to 1.5 million this winter after November. Wow. This marks the third troop increase since the operation of Crane in 2022. The decree followed Vladimir warning that allowing Crane to use long range uh, 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 would risk WW3. It means that multiple lands would get involved. Boom. Once again, Vlad orders the Bear Army to increase by 180,000 troops. He wants to bring the total force to 1.5 million troops. The decree published on the Gov website signals continue efforts to booster the Bear military capabilities. Man. It's coming after November. Vladimir signed a decree increasing the numbers. WW3 is coming. He's preparing after November. He's preparing because he wants to know who's going to be the sleeping giant leader after November. And uh, whoever is going to win it, yeah, you're going to have to face those numbers. Wow. Wow. Once again, you have Sputnik. They put out their info. This uh, this information was released in a decree published on the official legal information website on Monday, today, September the 16th. All right. So, once again, the previous time the staffing level was increased was back in December 2023. Again, these are WW3 numbers. All right. These are huge numbers here. These are numbers for multi again to go against multiple countries. Two point four million. The bear are coming. Well, they're not going to be invading. They're just going to prepare for worst case scenario. If the long range hits their territory, they will go in. And I pray that Joe does not do anything cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. 
All right. So let me just pull up the information here. Happy Monday, and God bless to every single one of you. I just posted a Patreon video. Uh, I did the one-hour Patreon live stream. For those of you that want access to the Patreon live stream, it's only $1 a month. It's the cheapest of the cheapest. I can't go any lower than that. Patreon won't allow me. If you know, if I had to do fifty cents or twenty-five cents, I'd do it. But again, Patreon will not do free stuff or allow me to go any below like fifty cent or twenty-five cent. So the again, a dollar a month is the lowest. All right. So we try to be uh, fair with many of you. I know it's tough times with the economy. And stuff like that. Our Patreon, we don't do fifty dollars stuff, a hundred dollars. We don't sell nothing. We just do live stream videos, things that we can talk about on YouTube. We talk about on Patreon every. Oh, by the way, it's gonna be changed Monday. Monday Patreon, no more weekends. It's only Monday because the weekends I got Bible study. I have to go to church, and spend time with the family. Uh, the bear leader Vladimir has ordered a significant increase in the size of the bear army for the third time. Since the start of the biblical war in Ukraine, according to his decree, published on September 16, 2024, on the Legal Acts portal, the authorized strength of the armed forces is to be increased to 2.2 2, uh, million 389,000 personnel, including 1.5 million active servicemen, starting from December 1, 2024. The reason why he's doing this. It's because he's getting ready for whoever becomes the leader of the sleeping giant. This will raise the number of active servicemen by 180,000. Previously, Vladimir had adjusted the army size in December 2023, increasing it to 2,209,000, with 1,320,000 of them being active service member, an increase of, of 170,000 from before. In August 2022, Vladimir had expanded the army, the Bear Army, to 1,150,000 active servicemen. At the start of the operation of Crane, the Bear Armed Forces had 1,031,628 servicemen. Thus, over the past two and a half years of combat, the army size has grown by nearly 500,000 personnel. Man, these numbers are huge. The Ministry of Defense emphasized that the Army increase will be active, excuse me, achieved through contract enlistments with no plans for draft expansion or mobilization. All right. So once again, this is not a draft. This is just uh, increase uh, numbers. Draft is worst case scenario. Draft is when things start hitting the fan World War Three. Following the 2023 expansion, the military department reported the formation of two new armies and 50 new units in March of current year. Then Defense Minister Sergi announced plans to form an additional two ground forces armies and 30 new units, including 14 divisions and 16 brigades. Once again, you have uh, Sergi stressed that the progressive development and enhancement of combat capabilities of the armed forces is being carried out in accordance with the decision of the Supreme Commander Chief Vlad. Meanwhile, Western intelligence reports suggest that the bear may have lost up to 450,000 and wounded since the beginning of the biblical war in Ukraine. Now, once again, guys, 450,000. I don't think it's 450,000. And this is what the U.S. are assuming. They are assuming 450,000. That number is the opposite. Crane lost 450,000 forces. This is why in Crane there is a thing called conception, uh, no conscription, excuse me, conscription, where this vans that stops, opens the door and grab any male and put them in to the van. Anyone that is traveling from, let's say, from the U.S. to Crane, 
for vacation and if you are a dual citizen um, sleeping giant and crane and let's say you're 25 years old they will snatch you and put you in the front line it doesn't matter if you tell them hey i'm here on vacation it doesn't matter you are a citizen of crane you must fight for crane so there is a conscription going on that means that their forces have been wiped out even Zelensk, the leader of Crane, he came out. He said, we need your sons and daughters to put on the camouflage. He said that last year. We need, we want your son and daughters, meaning that we want your soldiers. Now, the bear, I think the bear might have lost possibly up to 100,000, but I don't see 200,000. I just don't see it. Because what's going on, the bear is just dropping a hammer using TU, um air bombers aircraft and just you know impact and dropping the the hammer on these uh, infrastructures and warehouse so I, again 450,000 I don't believe that number especially when it coming from the uh, Western source yeah mm -mm, no it's like uh, watching C and you know what and 24 7 and right next to you is a Tylenol <laughs> man so once again, uh, according to the Sleeping Giant source, 450,000 of the bear forces taken out. No. Uh, the bear service of the BBC and Media Zona have confirmed at least 68,000. See, now I believe it's 68,000. 68,000 might have been taken out, the bear forces, but not 450,000. Absolutely not. I don't see that happening. Uh, if that was the case, the bear would have dropped the the nuke on uh, on Crane. So it says here the highest casual were among volunteers who signed contract after the start of the full-scale invasion. According to Vladimir, own estimates by early June, the bear army has lost more than 130,000 servicemen in the operation with an equal number sustaining various injury and wounds. So according to Vlad... So his he got the number at one hundred and thirty thousand. I mentioned sixty eight thousand. So one hundred and thirty thousand, he's basically putting the number up to one thirty. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't support biblical wars. Is it worth it to sign checks and give them all these equipment? Is it worth is it worth it? Many, many of them had loved ones. Many of them had young ones. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Now all this is gonna be in the hands of Joe and also Vlad. They are the ones in the spotlight. They're gonna to have to answer to God when it comes to that great number. Especially Joe signing checks and giving over two hundred billion to uh, Crane and giving all that money to other parts of the world. He has a lot of B L O O D in his hand, and he's been a, he's been a pilot, you know what, for over fifty years. So I pray that he repents. I pray that they all repent. I pray for the gov. I pray for the leaders. I pray for everyone. We were commanded to have a, you know, a Christ-like heart. We have to pray for those. In the spotlight so this is where we are right now guys this is a great number of uh, soldiers that uh, the bear leader is putting out there and he's gonna get this all done uh, by December 1st you guys already know by then we're gonna find out who is the new sleeping giant leader because it's gonna be bye-bye for Joey it could either be Donald or Harris we're gonna find out guys 50 days away, I think. 50 days away. And November 5th is around the corner. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My, my email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday.
Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.